What is the most important piece of equipment in your studio? Now, obviously, you know, every piece of equipment in here is important. You know, we've got some lovely gear here. We've got some lovely gear over there. We've got the controller, you know, speakers. It's all important gear. Everything's important. But there's, there's one piece that I would say is the most important piece of equipment in here, and that is the Trinov. And I feel like I've, I've, I've answered this question in a few different ways people have asked me before. But there's th this one I'm going to say, it is the Trinov. And the reason it's the Trinov is because it gives me the reassurance that what I'm hearing is perfect. So no matter how good my speakers are, no matter, you know, I've got, got some of the, the best sounding speakers and room and all this sort of stuff. But without the Trinov, it's it's not as good. And 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 what I'm going to say in regards to this is that even though let's say forty grand speakers, brilliant, they sound incredible, but take the Trinov out of the equation, and I can't trust what I'm hearing is bang on accurate. When I have the Trinov in. I know what I'm hearing is 100% perfect. And I know that, and I'm reassured of that by having this piece of equipment. So that's why I say it's the most important piece. Because I know, right, I could, let's say, I could remove any of these pieces of equipment in the mastering chain. I could remove any, any one, and I could replace it with something else. And there'd be minimal difference. I could, I could replace any piece of this equipment with something, let's say, in the box. And there'll be minimal difference. There'll be a difference, but you'll you'll most probably never notice it. Just on one piece of equipment. So I could I could replace the you know I could take the the Avid S4 out. All right, it would take me three times as long or four times five times as long to mix a track because I'm not flying around a console. But it w I would still wouldn't put that as the most important piece of equipment. You know speakers. All right, they're brilliant speakers, but I could throw myself on to, you know, a, a, a more relatively budget pair of speakers, for instance, um, and still got to get a great sound if I have the Trinov. Um, obviously, you're, I always say this, you are only as good as your weakest link. Uh, by that, I mean, you know, you, you could have the best speakers in the world. You could have the best room in the world. You could have the best mastering chain in the world. But if you haven't got the best room correction in the world, you know, for instance, let's say you're using Sonarworks or something, which um, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not a massive fan of. That's not what I consider room correction. I can't trust Sonarworks, whereas Trinov, I, you can 100% trust. Um, you are only as good as what you can hear. Now, by that, what I mean is that, let's say for argument's sake, you're mastering a track and you you haven't got a Trinov and what you hear you think is great and you think that, that that's perfect but it's not but you think it is so you're what what decisions you make based on what you hear what decisions you make on you have the best equipment in the world but ultimately your ears are telling you what to do with the equipment when you have a trinov in you're hearing bang on accurate perfect audio so what decisions you make working with um with the analog equipment, you can make far better decisions. And this actually makes me think a really good video would be for me to do analog master with the Trinov off versus a digital master with the Trinov on. Now that, that would give us a comparison between how good, how much difference the Trinov makes uh, comparing to um, if we weren't to have one. So my one piece of equipment that I could not live without in this studio is honestly, it is the Trinov, especially in Dolby Atmos. When you're working with Dolby Atmos, bear in mind, you've got 15 speakers in this room. Have you? Yeah, 15 speakers in this room. They're all kind of, you know, they're all firing into this, this sweet spot. You know, this phase, you, you will not get away with with no room correction you always get phase 15 speakers all going to the same same kind of point it's going to cause phase trinov no phase 
it's it's so important it really is i think if anybody if you get the chance to demo one in your own room you will literally switch it on and switch it off and go wow it's like it's like having a new room it's like having new speakers it's 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 incredible um so yeah that's my one piece of equipment that i could not live without in this studio <laughs>